The American Civil War would never have been possible without the sinister influence of the Jesuits. Looking into the Jesuits is one of the most important things you can do because they are your direct enemy, as well as the direct enemy of the United States of America. The Jesuits work covertly behind the scenes, infiltrating governments, education, media, and everything they can get their hands on to bring all nations back under the control of Rome. The Jesuits are the armed militia of the Roman Catholic Church. They were sanctioned in 1540 by Little Horn Paul III, with one mandate to defeat Protestantism and regain worldwide rule. And just to make a note, I don't like to use or even like to say the name of the Bishop of Rome because it is blasphemous. It comes from the word Papa, which means father. And we are to call no man father. The Jesuits have much more power than you think. Check out some of these quotes. I have learnt most of all from the Jesuit order. So far, there has been nothing more imposing on earth than the hierarchical movement of the Roman Catholic Church. A good part of that organization I have transported direct to my own Nazi party. The Catholic Church must be held up as an example. I will tell you a secret. I am founding an order which was the Nazi SS, in Heinrich Himmler, who would become the head of Nazi SS, I see our Ignatius de Loyola, which was the founder of the Jesuit order, Adolf Hitler. The SS had been organized by Heinrich Himmler according to the principles of the Jesuit order. The rules of service and spiritual exercises prescribed by Ignatius de Loyola, the founder of the Jesuit order, constituted a model which Heinrich Himmler strove carefully to copy. Absolute obedience was the supreme rule. Every order had to be executed without comment. Walter Schellenberg, chief of the Nazi Sieheitsdienst. I apologize if I butchered that. My history of the Jesuits is not eloquently written, but it is supported by unquestionable authorities and is very particular and very horrible. Their restoration in 1814 by Little Horn Pius VII is indeed a step toward darkness, cruelty, despotism, and death. I do not like the appearance of the Jesuits. If ever there was a body of men who merited eternal damnation on earth and in hell, it is this society of Ignatius de Loyola, John Adams, second president of the United States. The Jesuits are a military organization, not a religious order. Their chief is a general of an army, not the mere father abbot of a monastery. And the aim of this organization is power. Power in its most despotic exercise. Absolute power. Universal power. Power to control the world by the volition of a single man. I.e. the Black Little Horn, the su superior general of the Jesuits. Jesuitism is the most absolute of despotisms. And at the same time, the greatest and most enormous of abuses. Napoleon Bonaparte, Emperor of the French. We came in like lambs and will rule like wolves. Francesco Borghia, third Jesuit superior general. In Matthew or Matthew chapter 7, Yahushua the Messiah says, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. For over 200 years, the goal of the Jesuits has been the complete destruction of the United States Constitution. In their religious arena, the goal of the Jesuits is to wipe out any trace of Protestantism and other religions and to restore worldwide domination by the Little Horn. Bill Hughes from his book, The Secret Terrorist.